Hey guys, it's Angie, and today I wanted to chat briefly about why I'm switching from WordPress to Squarespace. So I've been avoiding Squarespace for a while. I thought that, you know, it has like this feel where everything, if you look at a site and you're in development, you know if a site is Squarespace, you're like, oh, yeah, that's definitely Squarespace and you can maybe you're like me and you dig into the source code just to be sure that your assumptions are right but that being said there's still a lot of benefits damn son oh my god okay so <laughs> where was I saying what was I saying all right where was I at man I got off track here we go all right, so I was saying uh, the reason why I switched from WordPress to Squarespace, Squarespace seeming like something that has so much visual polish, you can tell for sure, or you can have a strong feeling if a site is made in Squarespace versus WordPress. Now, first of all, why even in between these two? If you are a person in development um, and you feel comfortable creating and coding up your own site, that is amazing. And I think that if you feel confident and your abilities to be able to do that why not spend some time and and putting it out but I think with my needs where I felt like there was a a need to have consistent updates and to um, have regular blog posts and regular content that if I were to make a small change using a static site just wasn't going to do it for me being that you'd end up having to change every single page to change the footer now there's this one aspect of it if you are able to code that and you want to use it as a portfolio item you can host that in github which would be free you can host it I think even Dropbox is being is able to do that and all it is is that you have that HTML file whether it's a zip file and things that are all connected into a, a folder system and you can have the link, but link, that would be the link from that GitHub, um, uh, what would, that GitHub system, right? Or the GitHub structure or the Dropbox structure. Okay, so if you were in a similar scenario where you feel like things, your content is outgrowing the ability, your ability, or maybe a static site is a little bit, um, difficult to maintain then you're looking at a couple major places you can look at uh, WordPress and you can look at Squarespace and I'm sure there are tons and tons of others but these are the ones that have really caught my eye now I've recently switched over from WordPress because I felt like a lot of the things that I wanted to change weren't really um, in my control without having that custom theme and I wasn't able uh, to to bring in those custom themes with keeping on top of the security because that's a like um a, a full-time part of the job is to be able to make those updates in those plugins a lot of third-party themes that aren't approved and uh, in the actual WordPress system have some security vulnerabilities and so those have to be constantly updated and if you're not able to have the time to do that then you need to stick with the WordPress um, official themes the WordPress approved themes by the community because those will be regularly regularly maintained and so with that limitation I felt like I was really interested in looking at something new something a bit more modern with that flexibility to be able to have a modular system and change things that's not static and have it affect all of the pages um, but also have a look and feel of something that I knew I could do in a static site but just something easier to maintain in a CMS like interface or content management system like interface okay so that all that being said here's what happened when I actually tried to switch over there is a delay so I have to I had my domain with Namecheap and that's who I've had it for this whole time and now I needed to link it to Squarespace and I had to chat all of this had to be changed um, in the advanced DNS settings or domain name what is DNS let me look up you, you get all these acronyms you know and then it's just like what do all these things stand for I have no idea all right so DNS you had to do the advanced DNS settings this is all laid out fairly nicely I guess you can say in Squarespace to be able to update those they give you a table with all of the things that you need to add 
And so that was fine. The problem here is that now my side is down because um, the transition wasn't as seamless as I had hoped. Um, and neither my WordPress site is working or my Squarespace site. And so people are directed to my portfolio link will be met with um, an error or like uh, a landing page that says that this is going to be resolved, which is very annoying when you are job searching or trying to make connections and network with people. So if you are looking to make, make this transition, think about uh, at least bringing over copies of some of your content and your portfolio material to LinkedIn if you haven't already or have um, have some of that offline in your local system on your desktop so that when people follow up with you or if you're reaching out then you still have copies of this material that you can send without sending people to a broken link. So I hope this helps if you're looking to make that transition and answers some concerns that you might have. I for one am uh, royally screwed but it's all right I don't think that I have a lot of traffic going there these days so that's it and I will see you next week with the second video of the tech Tuesdays uh, let me know if you have any ideas for different topics and I will see you later this week bye